Through the year 2024, Texas will be lucky enough to witness two solar eclipses, both of which happening in cities like San Antonio, Austin, Kerrville, and in Corpus Christi, Texas. And remember, this happens when the moon passes in between the Earth and the sun, casting a shadow onto the Earth's surface. But when and exactly how is this going to happen? Well, fasten up. Let's explore the difference between annular and total solar eclipses. When you look into the night sky, what do you see? Stars, planets, comets. It makes you think how large everything is and how small we really are. And on Earth, we view these stars every single night. Something else we see is the moon that orbits our planet. Some planets like Jupiter, according to NASA, have over 80 moons. While we only have one, our moon can display some spectacular sights. From different moon phases to eclipses, these astronomical phenomena draw millions to watch. And some are rare to see, based on time, location, and the positioning of these celestial objects. One very unique astronomical event is happening on October 14th and another one on April 8th, 2024. Both solar eclipses, but two different types. One, an annular eclipse, and the other, a total eclipse. Let's explain. An eclipse is when the moon passes in between the sun and the earth, allowing for a shadow to reach the earth's surface, leaving some in darkness as the shadow moves across the planet. Now, the main distinction is position. Remember, the moon's orbit around the earth isn't a perfect circle, nor is the earth's orbit around the sun. It's more of an ellipse or an oval shape. Because of this, it causes the moon to push and pull during different phases. One position is called apogee, when the moon is farther and smaller in the sky. The second position is perigee, when it's closer and larger. But because of this oval orbit and its slight tilt, we don't see an eclipse every month. It rarely lines up perfectly. The moon is either too high or too low relative to Earth to block the sun. So it takes a rare moment when the moon's orbit lines up exactly for the Earth to witness an eclipse. When it's farther away, typically, the moon doesn't fully cover the sun, leading to an annular eclipse. When it's annular, the shadow the moon creates on Earth is a very small area when projected onto the surface. The penumbra is the larger part of the shadow that is lighter than the center, where the umbra is the darker part of the shadow, which again is a very small area. While the penumbra can stretch hundreds of miles across continents, the umbra, the darkest part of the shadow, typically will have a width of around 90 miles which means only some are able to see totality or annularity depending on the type of eclipse. What's going to happen is the moon's going to pass in between the Earth and the sun, right? And so if the moon is farther away from the Earth, it's almost like the nickel passing in front of the quarter. It won't cover the entire quarter. However, when the moon is closer to the Earth on its orbit, it's going to be like the quarter covering the nickel from our view, and that's why we will completely, total eclipse it in April of 24. Annular eclipse it in October, total eclipse it in April. So an annular eclipse doesn't fully cover the sun, creating the ring of fire, whereas a total eclipse completely blocks out the face of the sun, creating a dark silhouette, and the outer light you see is the solar corona, the outermost layer of the sun's atmosphere. The corona is said to be hotter than the sun's actual surface, full of heat, plasma, and turbulent solar winds. Something you don't see every day. Make sure to watch the eclipse safely. All it takes is a split second with direct sunlight to cause damage to your vision. Be sure to look through safe solar viewing glasses. So the best way to view the eclipse is with eclipse glasses. You, you cannot look at the sun with your naked eye. You cannot look at this eclipse with sunglasses. You need these kind of glasses. And so when you put these on, you can look right up at it. Like right now, I can't see anything. But when you're looking at an eclipse, you're going to see the entire thing safely with these glasses on. How do they look? Looking good, Bill. 
Also, you may be in direct sunlight for several hours, so wear a hat, sunscreen, and protective clothing to further help prevent skin damage. So grab your solar eclipse glasses and find a good seat. And remember, a total solar eclipse will happen in April of 2024, but the next annular won't be visible until 2039. We have more information on kens5.com slash eclipse. If you have any other questions, feel free to contact a meteorologist here at Kens5 because this eclipse will happen without a shadow of a doubt. Until next time, have a great one.